pull your marriage and your serious relationships out of social media. Go in the background and begin to build your relationship. Occasionally, you can share some things and leave the people thinking and wondering. Not all this day-to-day, minute-to-minute update on what is going on in your home. You're sitting on top of your husband. This one. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. Okay, so I have a very, very important announcement to make. So if you're watching me right now and you're married or in a very serious relationship that could potentially lead to marriage, this video is for you. Now, what I want to say to you is this. Social media is not your friend. Social media is the worst kind of place for you to take your marriages and your serious relationships. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, for those of you who may not understand this, marriage is a divinely ordained secret cult. So marriage is sustained by secrets. And when you let those secrets out, you weaken the foundations of your marriage. That's why back in the days, the devil used to go through so much by even sending agents into our homes and using all kinds of means to try to get the secrets of our marriages and our homes so that he could break them. That's why he couldn't so much as penetrate the marriages of our fathers because they were not all over the place. And so today, what do you see? You see a situation where even those secrets that the devil used to go through all kinds of stuff to get, he doesn't have to do them anymore. We are now taking these secrets of our survival in marriage and presenting them on our own to the devil in his coven, in the covens of witchcraft, in the covens of occultic kingdom. They are there receiving these informations every day by virtue of the videos and the posts that you're making. So the devil doesn't have to work hard anymore to pick up the secrets that are supposed to sustain your marriage. He just needs to stay there quietly and you present it. You even have timelines. You even give dates on when you are going to release more information about your marriage. Things that are supposed to be very secretive. It's a divine secret cult. God ordained marriage by himself and he is the high priest of that marriage. That's why the Bible says that God the Father is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of the man and the man is the head of the woman. So God intends that we should be able to keep certain things secret. Not to let everything out in the open. How many of you know how many people get to see you when you make a post? We now have a term in Nigeria that we call the online in-laws. Do you know how many witches are also part of your online in-laws? Do you know how many wizards are part of your online in-laws? Do you know how many people are angry that you're married to the person you're married to? Back in the days, we used to read about how the witches would take somebody's pictures and start casting spell on that person through the pictures. They want people who, take, who have pictures of certain locations in their homes so they can put some spell in that location. They don't have to do that anymore because you give them everything. You show them your bedroom. You show them your children. You show them your pregnancies. You show them everything. They see it. They can actually freeze your picture and project stuff into your marriage, into your life, into your children at the same time. There is no secret cult I know in this world that can survive without keeping secrets. There is no nation state on earth today that can survive without the intelligence agencies. And what are the intelligence agencies? What they do is to carry some secrets and keep it. Those secrets are the things that sustain the, the country, the nation. That is what the nation exists on. But today we take the vital secrets of our marriages and we throw them out in the open to everybody, both those who are watching your posts from the covers, those who are watching it from under the water, people who are watching it from all over the place, all of them have access. So marriages will come, it's all over social media, the very next minute, it ends. It ends. We are now doing Satan's job for him. Please, my beloved, take your marriages out of the social media. Let me explain to you one major reason why you have to do this right now. You see, 
The Bible says that one will chase a thousand, two will chase ten thousand. I want you to do this little simple math with me now. If one will chase a thousand, then two will chase ten thousand. This simply means that your enemies, when you become two, when you get married, are multiplied by one thousand percent. Have you looked at it from that dimension before? 1,000% increase in the number of enemies that both of you have to face in your marriages. So you see, on the outside, marriage can be approached physically with tuxedos and beautiful wedding gowns and wonderful parties and all of that. But on the inside, really, you don't wear tuxedos and beautiful wedding gowns to approach marriage. You wear your full armor. You wear your military uniform because marriage is full-blown warfare. That's why it's crashing left, right and center because people are approaching a war front with tuxedos and linens and white gowns. No, you approach fully decked in your military apparel with all the weapons you need as is described in the book of Ephesians. Put on the full armor of God. Marriage is not a child's play. And it's not for babies. It's warfare. If you have enemies multiplied by 10,000 from the very moment you say, yes, I do. Imagine the number of enemies you're going to see afterwards. You are just going to go into serious warfare. Is this the kind of thing that you see yourself in and you'll still be posting pictures? It's like somebody who is... <laughs> At the battlefront and is sending information every day to the enemy forces on their location and where they are you move from one point to another you tell the whole world i mean come on if you want to post about yourself that's fine go ahead but leave your family out of it the fact that you're married the fact that you have children the fact that you have a home is an affront to the devil you 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 don't know how much you provoke satan by having a home by being in a marriage that is working. And rather than keep you quiet, you are all over the place. You drink, Gary, you show us. Why do we need all that information you are imposing on people? We don't need it. You are simply just killing yourself. You're taking a dagger, a gun, and you're shooting your own self in the food. I know you didn't know before. That's why I'm telling you this. Please don't do it again. It doesn't make sense. Marriage is not the kind of place where you do stuff like this. You need to calm down, pull your marriage and your serious relationships out of social media. Go in the background and begin to build your relationship. Occasionally, you can share some things and leave the people thinking and wondering. Not all this day-to-day, minute-to-minute update on what is going on in your home. You're sitting on top of your husband. This one is happening. I mean, nobody is beating you. Nobody is jealousy you. But stay away because social media is a highway of ferocious attacks from the devil. It's the worst kind of place to take your marriages to. Marriage is number one target of satanic attacks because he hates marriages. Go back into the closet and work on your marriage. I've been talking about this in private, but this time around, the Lord impressed it on me to speak out about this. Look, do you know how painful it is to have someone in a marital union and the next minute you're no longer together? Do you know the kind of things you have to go through for, through this separation? The emotional toll is going to take on them. The financial toll, the psychological toll, the mental toll it takes on these people. We can actually avoid this. That's what the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. I'm sharing this with you not because I'm the most qualified, not because I've got it all or, knows, or that I know it all, no. I'm sharing with you because God dropped this message directly in my heart and said, go and tell them. That's why I'm telling you this. Please, let me repeat again. I don't care how many times I've said it, let me say it again. Take your marriages and serious relationships out of the social media. It may not be the only thing you need to save your marriage, but I'm telling you, if you do this, 
at least for those marriages that are real, for those marriages where the couples are meant to be, not the ones who have met demons that need to be kicked out of their lives, but the ones that are really good and supposed to be, you will realize that by doing this, you would have saved your marriage by almost 70 to 80 percent. Do not unduly and unnecessarily expose a union that is supposed to be divinely secretive and make it too open to the devil that he doesn't even have to struggle to find you. You take your information that the devil is looking for and give it to him on a platter of gold. If that doesn't trouble you, I don't know what will. So I pray that God will give you the grace to heed this instruction and take action immediately. Take your wife, your children, everything that has to do with your home, call it sacred and separate them from this madness of social media. May God bless you.